After dominating the charts in the 90s and noughties, Denny Hines is once again set to become a feature on our radios. This singer first found fame with Rock Melons 25 years ago, scoring a number of international hits, including this cover of a Bill Withers classic. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone, and this house just ain't no home anytime he goes away. Now Denny's embracing her soul side for her first new album in almost a decade, and the lead single, What About Love, is already making waves overseas. What about love? That sounds great. And Denny Hines joins us live at the desk. Hello, Denny. Lovely to see you. Oh, nice to see you both as well. And congratulations. Thank you for me. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Congratulations on the record. Uh, Thank tell you. us about the uh, the new sound you've got going on. Well, new to you. I've always been into soul music. It's just that when you're signed to a label, you can't always do what you want to do and be the artist that you want to be. But when you become independent, you can go true to yourself and be the artist that you want to be. So I just. I did this album just to show people after, as you say, 25 years. Um, people want to know what's inspired me musically and why I'm the singer that I am. And this is just a little bit of an insight into the musical world that I grew up with. Some of the singers that I had in the household, some of the songs that I really love to sing and just like to put another touch on it today. It's so right. beautiful. It's embracing that, that freedom. Yeah. Um, the music video is very um, passionate music video. Thank you. Tell us about that. Um, well, I wrote the song What About Love and it was uh, about a, a relationship before I met my fabulous husband where everything wasn't so great. And it's like, you know, when you're in a relationship, sometimes you can't wait for that. Like five minutes is like a, a lifetime. And then it gets to the point of, oh, why are you breathing? <laughs> And then it gets to, would you just step away? And that's what the song's about. So that's why at the beginning it's all the beautiful and I'm kissing him and then the next scene I'm like, yeah, and then we're fighting and then I'm teary. And then I'm like, forget about it. I don't want to be yeah. loved by you. Yeah. yeah. What about love? <laughs> There's a bunch of originals in there yes. and some covers, some MJ and some Janice. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Was it hard to sort of... You say Janice. Now, can I educate you on that? OK, here we go. Everybody thinks, and she was the most popular person to sing take a little uh, take a piece of my heart but it was Irma Franklin who actually recorded and wrote that song who is Aretha Franklin's sister oh mm, okay right? so I actually went back to the original version heard her version and my version is a take on on Irma's version oh nice not Janice's could you put your Denny touch into it though? absolutely yeah. I think I did um that was a song that I'd never sung before and, and I honestly only ever knew Janis Joplin's version of it and then I was introduced to Irma Franklin's and I was like, wow, that's a different, it's like a real soul-y vibe, you know, like it's like that cheeky woman saying, didn't I treat you good and you were the only man and the, yeah, it was just like this kind of saucy, yeah, fire <laughs> thing. <laughs> Mm, anyway. <laughs> now, the new music is doing really well um, overseas, Europe and Japan. Yeah. Was that a surprise to you or did you um, know you had fans? Well, not really. I don't want to sound arrogant, but I had success 20 years ago in, in Japan with um, It's Alright. And it was the number one single, the number one album in Japan, Imagination. And then I actually wrote a song for a Japanese TV show. So I'm still in the domestic marketplace. Every night I get played in a Japanese household. So um, I think I would have been slightly disappointed if I released an album and nothing did happen there. The funny thing is that they've, they've even though I've not released anything for 20 years, they've got everything that I've done in this country and outside is purchasable in Japan. Wow. Great. So yeah, I'm, so you're I'm heading over happy. there with this record. Look at that. Look at me. In the, look at that. Alicia and I. Look at that. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> That's great. Will you go back? Can you tour? I want to go tour back. I've never toured. Um, right. I would love to go back. I'm going overseas on Sunday for a few, uh, six weeks. When I come back, I hope to be able to go to Japan and. Um, Konnichiwa. Have a sing. Yeah. 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 Now, the, the album cover has a bit of a special story. Oh, don't you think it's beautiful? It's, it's a piece of art, okay? My girlfriend, an amazing artist called Gabrielle Poole, I look her up on the internet, she actually sat me down for this portrait. Usually people sit for portraits for like two, three days. Gabrielle's so good, I sat for one day and then I went away and she painted that. It's actually huge. The person who owns it has it in their house. It's probably as big as this wall it's very confronting yeah but um yes she was nice enough to let me use my yeah this is bizarre i was able to i had to get permission to use my image on Your my portrait album. on the artwork because somebody else owns my head at the moment <laughs> <laughs>
Well, it's Very beautiful confusing. and it really stands out. And I think that's the most... A beautiful head. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's important, you know, when yeah. you're deciding on your artwork yeah. and stuff like I that. I liked it. I think it really made sense to the soul sessions too, really earthy and organic and, yeah, you know. Yeah. Hey, we've talked about time a little bit during this wow. recent chat, but here's a question for you and I really want you to... Uh, it's a great question. Um, what do you know now that you wish you knew back then? Um, that if you are, if you love what you do, and I did love it then as much as I love it now, then you can have a really long, happy, like, relationship with music. I, I've always loved music, and it's always been a very integral part to my life. When I started to sing in primary school and the special singing groups, and then when I got discovered in a kitchen with the Rock Melons, I mean, those days, if you had told me today that in that time I would have worked with Sung For Royalty, worked with Grace Jones, sung for Tom Jones, written songs for Beyonce, I would go, you're crazy. Yeah. But anything can happen. A brilliant career. And, it, and it's not finished yet. Because, no, I, I mean, you say obviously. 25 years and I, I, don't, I don't look it. And when I start to look my age, that's when I'll kick it in. That's when I'll give it up. <laughs> you're going strong. Can't wait to listen to the record. Thanks, Denny. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Thank Thomas. you. Well, Denny Hines' new album is called The Soul Sessions and it is out.